Hello, everyone. My name is Mariana Kulubaritsis, and I have the privilege and pleasure of introducing Ms. Nina Kumar. I've been classmates with this lovely lady since we were three years old, and can I just say that she is even smarter and more passionate now than she was back then. From her obsession with Pirates of the Caribbean to Harry Potter and to El Internado, Nina knows all of the trivia and fun facts that go along with being a total fangirl. Nina is also one of those people that is always willing to listen and pick you up when you've had a bad day. Her witty remarks in Mr. Stone's math class never fail to crack all of us up, and her work ethic is unparalleled. She has wisdom beyond her years, so without any further ado, please put your hands together for a warm welcome for Ms. Nina Kumar. When my parents first figured out that I needed glasses, it was only because while we were playing Mario Party, our family bonding experience, I couldn't tell the difference between two buttons that were the same color. They took me straight to the eye doctors, and as I walked out of the Oak Court Mall, because obviously, the mall eye doctor was the superior eye doctor, <laughs> the first thing I said was, wow, I didn't know that trees had branches. <laughs> obviously, I knew that trees had branches. Something had to hold the leaves up. But trees had always just been green blurs to me, and I could never see the branches, which is something that my four-year-old self failed to articulate. I hated my glasses. I was constantly thinking about when I would get contacts and when I could get that magical laser eye surgery that would just fix my eyes. At age four, I wanted surgery at age four. <laughs> at one point, I even got bifocals, but I gave them back within the week because I was seven years old and my grandmother wore bifocals. <laughs> I didn't hate my glasses because of the way they looked. In fact, I thought my red sparkly glasses were kind of snazzy. But as the girl who spoke maybe 10 words total in my first year of kindergarten and maybe 15 in my second, having red sparkly glasses when no one else in my class had them was probably my worst nightmare. I was already reluctant to draw attention to myself, and now people had a compelling reason to ask me questions about the new things on my face. It must be the devil working against me. <laughs> I didn't want people to come try on my glasses and comment on how blurry it was nor did I want to answer the question of, how many fingers am I holding up without my glasses on? Well, guess what? I couldn't see anything. It was all just a blur, and I took an educated guess, so you've all been tricked. <laughs> my sister told me that it didn't matter that I wore glasses, that most people would get them at some point, but as a dramatic kindergartner, I refused to believe her. Of course, it just so happens that literally the next year, someone else got glasses, but that didn't matter to me. She knew how to handle herself with her new kinds of attention. I did not. I hated most kinds of attention, and I still try to avoid it, but here I am, making a speech in front of 500 people so we can see how well that worked out for me. <laughs> Junior year, I genuinely convinced myself that the TED Talks were all just an elaborate ruse and that the teachers would reveal their tricks at the last minute. It wasn't. <laughs> so yes, I still hate some kinds of attention, but mostly, I couldn't care less. Somewhere along the line, I figured out that people cared more about my being a good friend rather than if I was wearing glasses or not. You know, bigger issues. The dream, <laughs> the dream to get laser eye surgery has not died, but now it's mostly because of the inconvenience of wearing contacts and glasses, and also, they're not very cheap. But if you take anything away from this whole story, it's this. Wear your red sparkly glasses with pride incorrectly pronounced the letter H as etch for almost a whole year because your grandmother does, even though everyone says you're wrong. <laughs> and arguably, you are. Accidentally call the police to your house while you're home alone because the burglar alarm went off for no reason at 4 a.m. and repeat this story many times despite your embarrassment. These all may or may not be things that I have done in my life. <laughs> so at this point, I say do what you want. Embarrass yourself constantly. I promise, no one cares as much as you think they do. This might sound bad, but honestly, you care more about what you're doing than other people do. And that's not a bad thing. So I'm going to wear my glasses. And like Ron Swanson, I regret nothing. The end. Thank you. Thank you. 